Hello and welcome, this is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress on your local computer, whether you are using a Windows or a Mac device easily. So many of you guys who have been following this WordPress Basic to Advanced course are having trouble on setting up XAMPP, setting up database, installing WordPress on your local computer for practice purpose. But this video is going to make the process easier for you. So basically what you have to do, you have to visit this local wp.com website. I'm going to attach the link into the video description for your easy access. After coming up on this web page, simply you have to download the software by clicking on this download button or by clicking on this download for free option. So let's click on this. After that, you have to choose your platform. If you're using a Mac, select Mac. If you're using Windows, you have to select Windows or for Linux, we have got this option. Simply download the software on your computer, install it, and then run the software on your device. After that, you are going to find this interface from where you can start creating WordPress websites on your local computer. So to start creating a website, simply you have to click on this plus sign, which is going to show you add local site. I'm going to click here. After that, here we go, create a new site. I'm going to click on continue. After that, you have to provide the site name. So let's say site one as an example. Then from this advanced option, you'll find this domain option where you can make change if you want. And here from this local site page, you can specify on which folder you want to save your website data. So I'd love to keep them as there. After that, I'm going to click on continue. Then we got this environment setup. By preferred method we, or the selected method, we got PHP 7.4.1 with web server nginx then mysql version is 8.0.16 but if you want you can customize it by clicking here on custom after that you can simply choose the version that you would love of the php then web server you can choose apache if you want then the database the mysql version you can choose whatever you want so i'd love to go with the preferred one the default then we're going to click on continue after that we have to set up the wordpress login details so here I'm going to provide a name, let's say site one as an example that I have to use to sign in to my WordPress backend so that we'll be able to add themes, plugins, customize the website, add posts, etc. So as the password, I'm going to provide a simple password here and then we have to provide our website URL. So I'm going to, sorry, our email address. So I'm going to provide my email which I don't use, so please don't send me an email. So after from advanced option, you can select if you want to create a multi-site by clicking here, you can select. So I'd love to go with a simple site. So I'm going to click on add site now. After that, it is going to take some time to set up the server, set up the database and install WordPress for us. So here is a security purpose. I'm going to provide my laptop's um, password and okay. And here we go installing wordpress adding wordpress to the server and within like few seconds it is going to complete the process and here we go we got this site now if you want to visit the site simply click on open site and you'll be able to visit the site now if you want to access the wordpress backend simply provide let's say wp admin and hit enter it is going to take us to the login page and the other way is simply go to the software that you just downloaded and installed and click on this wp admin button and it is going to take us to the login page now we are going to provide the name the username that we provided site one and then i provided the simple password and i'm going to click on login and here we go we are inside the website backend of the installation that we just completed now from this page and from these options, we'll be able to add new posts, blog posts, we'll be able to add new images, media files, we'll be able to create pages, we'll be able to customize the theme, we'll be able to add new theme, we'll be able to add plugins and so on. So let me show you by simply making a change here on themes. I'm going to click on themes and I'm going to click on add new and we can upload a custom theme if we already got any theme purchased or downloaded and we can simply search for a theme here and we can select any of these popular themes if we want. So I'd love to go with this cadence theme. So as of now, if I simply visit this site, you can see as of now we have got this simple site. Now, if I install this theme and activate it on our WordPress website, the website look will be changed. And then we are going to install some demo templates 
and import demo contents on our website so that the website will look really really beautiful and i'm going to show you soon so i'm going to activate this theme here and if i reload this page you can see it is going to be changed just take a look right now let's go back here on the theme installation page after that i'm going to install the cadence starter template so that we'll have some beautiful templates that we can use for our use case and we can start customizing providing our information we can add our image and so on to make it working for us so here we go now i'm going to select the builder i'm going to select elementor that i really love and we can use any of these free templates without paying them a single penny but if you want to use the pro uh, themes then you have to pay them so make sure there is no pro sign so let me just install a very basic theme from here let's say um, this one or this one as an example print shop so i'm going to open this up and we can simply install the single page from the front page or we can install the full site so that it will have all the options available here all the page data installed on our uh, website so i'm going to click on full site and then i don't want to subscribe to their email platform so i'm going to click on skip and start importing now they're going to check for all the plugins they're going to install all the required plugins for us they're going to uh, install the template import the demo contents on this website which is going to look really beautiful then and after that we'll be able to customize everything depending on our needs so let's just wait while they are just simply importing the data for us on this website all right so here the template import completed now it's time to visit our website if i simply take you here and reload this page or we can simply visit the website by clicking here as well on this view your site so if i take you back here just take a look we have got this beautiful website ready to be customized right so now to make any necessary change we can click here on edit with elementor it is going to open up the elementor website builder editor section from where we'll be able to customize everything of this website depending on our need for instance let's say i want to make a change here on this text simply click here then this editor will be appeared here and we can simply uh, add some text add text like this and if you want we can start changing the image as well simply click here and or click here and after that go here and from these images you'll be able to customize the image and so on so this is basically how you can customize everything for instance for t-shirts you can um, add something let's say tees and so on so that's how you can start installing a wordpress website on your computer local computer that's how you can start customizing your site and for detailed tutorials please watch the lessons available here we got this elementor tutorials playlist learning page with elementor wordpress basic to advanced course and so on so now one thing that i'd love to mention so now we are being able to access this website from anywhere so for instance let me just simply copy this domain and if I take you to any other browser of mine, we'll be able to visit this website because we got this here set done, right? As you can see here, the start is live. But if I simply click on stop site, now if I just take a look, it just stopped. Now if I simply reload this page, you will see an error appearing here. Now to be able to access this website, simply we have to go to the software then click on start site by selecting it from this list and here we go now if i reload this page we should be able to uh, access this website will if i let's say type out wp admin will be able to get the login page from where we can sign into this website we can start customizing adding plugins adding themes and so on so this was it guys this is how easy it is to set up a wordpress installation completely free of cost on your local computer i believe you have found this video helpful but if you got any further question please feel free to ask me by commenting below thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye